Well, hello everybody. Here we are out here with the uh, brand spanking new 308 ECR2 Cat Excavator. Just using an eight tonner, weighs about nine ton. Um, so we've got Cubby up there, the um, U35-3 for our uh, lantana removal. These two guys are our key pieces of equipment and the truck. So we've bought a Molsha for her, brand new Molsha. The whole kit's brand new. So we are now seriously into high production, high volume materials being dealt with. So she has the best state of the art gear on her. She's got the Lexon um, screen to protect from the uh, Molsha, which is a massive issue with Molshas. As they seriously launch things 100, 120, 160 meters. I know of uh, other people that have operated them where they've um, actually launched material 120 meters and then through the windscreen of their own ute miles away. So you've got the protection on top of the cabin, all our working lights. Um, this thing is a thing of beauty, I can tell you, and to operate it is everything that you'd expect. From a brand new machine let alone a cat machine so i could not be happier with the um with cats um support and performance i've always wanted uh one of my own so basically i finally reached into the pocket far enough to say well you know what this is what we've got to have so the door latches back into the socket behind it She's got radio in it for our tunes, and she's got uh, UHF for communications to everybody else. So, within all of the panels here, so I've locked everything up because um, you don't want any tampering with your equipment. So you've got your windscreen washer fluid there, you've got your uh, pump, your exhaust, your air cleaner, your air cleaner indicator, so you've got all of these things nice and handy for your inspections, daily inspections. It's incredible how much room there is under the under the hoods of these things. So we've just had some rain here. So you've got your dipstick for your uh, oils. You've got your uh, radiator coolant levels. You can do your inspections. You've got tons of room to work on anything around in this uh, beautiful piece of equipment. And then over here, you've got your, uh, there we go. So everything just opens up so beautifully on this one. But then that's the joy of, you know, like the smaller they get down in the small machines, the more compact they have to make everything and the harder it is for you to get around. So your water separator for your fuel, so you drain off underneath through the bottom there, your isolator, battery isolator, your battery, Everything has tons of room to get at everything because it's a, a bigger machine. Your hydraulic fluid tank fill, your sight glass for your hydraulic fluid, another fuel inline fuel filter, and there's your valve banks for all your uh, hydraulic componentry. And then your fuel tanks up on top up here, and fire extinguisher down on here, and your horn. So she's a swing boom model, the same as the smaller machines. So I think she's the last of the swing boom in the um, in this range, in the cat range, I think. But anyway, she it is um, incredibly beautiful and sensitive to operate. So there's your ratings on your boom up there. I've put the longer dipper arm on it to uh, have more reach because the material that we operate in is, you know, only lantana and stuff like that so reach is more important to me than what the uh, actual capacity is so i'm just going to than what the capacity is so that's what i prefer to have um, we are running the extra counterweight on the back end because sometimes we want to be swinging over the over the hillside and we want that um we want that extra balance to be uh offset for the amount that we're reaching down the hillside so that's basically how we run that so we ran went for the steel tracks we took the um 
we took the pads off so the pads are over here all brand you know brand new pads so i took the pads off because the work we do is in on a lot of rocky country so not rocky shelf country but lots of rocks so i didn't want the pads being destroyed within that we went for the uh the tilting hitch and i must say this is my first tilting hitch i've always operated machines without this i've had plenty of tilting buckets oh that's not on the machine sorry it's over there so i've operated tons of tilting buckets but uh never a tilting hitch so it is brilliant and i love the way this system works on the cat it's um uses a, a combined button on the joystick so you press the button and you can operate the um the uh, slew of the boom left and right press the button and then you operate the tilting hitch and i actually like that a lot it's really good i couldn't actually have it any better than that if i you know spec'd up what i wanted different to what they have so now we haven't even put the um <clears throat> the mulching head on the unit yet so she's a brand spanker hasn't even been run yet but um it's going to be very um very interesting throwing her on there and and putting her to work because we've done everything with um with fire before that's our number one means before this of um of processing the material so from this point on we're using uh, the mulching head so we have our um beacon light inside the cabin but we're not using it that's not where we use it from it's just where we carry it so that's basically it so standard layout i was a bit worried because our work when we operate the small machine in those um environments is so steep that we actually have to put our feet up on the on the body um combing of the machine to hold ourselves in the seat but there's not much leg room in that in the other machine um, but these actual footrests actually are perfect for us with the with the work that we do so this is um this is her this is my workstation in the cabin so so over here we have our monitor <clears throat> we can put our window up if we choose to although you know there's no point in having an air-conditioned cab if you're going to run it all the time with the window open um because you just get your cab all dusty and dirty so if you've got a pressurized and uh, air-conditioned cab you really want to run it with the doors shut to keep all the dirt and filth out of it <clears throat> now on this machine she has high and low on the on the blade control and this machine has float on the blade as well so your horns over here and there's your um control to run your auxiliary hydraulics so you've got an emergency stop here if you need to hit it on this joystick this joystick's the one that controls the um slew on the boom okay press the button and then you can use the rocker to adjust your um your tilt on your hitch so you can swap between those two items there so she is an incredible piece of gear so i can control through the computer i can control my flow rates to my tools to my uh, functions i can slow down the the tilting hitch so it's an amazing uh, operating environment it's beautiful really good visibility for the size of the machine which is always what it relates to it's always about the size of the machine the bigger the machine the less visibility you've got on the three and a half tonner it ends just around you so you can see everything but there's no creature comforts within that machine so you've got your uh, radio in here in the side for your UHF and then you've got your tunes down in the back here with your um, with your um, other radio so that's her there and that's what we have we can play our music through our phones and whatnot on there seat is amazingly comfortable i'm wrapped in the seat it's really really good really comfortable everything's compact and tightly around you all your air conditioning stuff over on this side it's got fantastic amount of um vents and cooling onto your windows as well so Good visibility up top here for when i'm knocking over trees when i do some tree work um, has an amazing amount of push i'm really impressed by the amount of push that it has 
but the feel the feel that it has is exceptional uh, exceptional amount of feel on the controls and smoothness of the operation of the controls is what you'd expect and what you're paying for you know took them about two and a half hours to deliver the machine that was all the rundowns going through everything could not um, have spent more time with you making sure you were happy the exhaust pipe was a little bit rusty um, when it was delivered and that was their thing they they called me up and said listen we weren't happy so we've um, we're coming out today to paint up the exhaust pipe and that's just we're just talking the very tip of the exhaust pipe just had a tiny little bit of surface discoloration there and um, they came out and painted it out um, you know in shiny black so it looks magnificent but you know their attention to detail has been incredible and you don't have to pick them up on things um, for that the operating system for the computer is exceptionally good um, the lock see on the Australian machines we have double locks on our um, on our implements so we don't actually have to hop out of the cab we just can just snap on and snap off all the buckets all the attachments except where we got a hook on hoses like on the mulcher um, but we can just snap on and snap off all of the buckets rippers all of those things and um, go straight to work without having to get out of the machine and without anybody else's help so the double um, double catch system means you can't drop a bucket your bucket can't fall off the machine and land on anybody or anything so it's exceptionally safe so yeah so that's a little bit of a walk down so you got your windscreen wiper out on your front window there um, that Lexan glass makes it very very good to deal with and here comes Jolly to come and do some stuff so I'm just about to start getting some stuff done around the place and get more familiarized with um, with operating the machine but I thought you might like to have the walkthrough and everything else all of your lifting capacities are over on your windows here and all your uh, buttons controls and everything else are listed there for you so you've got a good good um, sliding what's name on the door sliding window on the door really good sealed cab solid firm um, latches on the cab so you can just slide your window open if I want to talk to anybody otherwise she's all buttoned up and really dust proof so yeah that's what we have to work with um, really really thoroughly impressed you have your phone holder down here for your phone and you charge it next to it and then your drink holder there but often the bottles we carry are much bigger so you've got good venting down onto the floor and onto the screens to keep the um, cabin nice and clear so yeah I could not be happier um, with this machine and and the um, uh, amount of care and detail they put into um, into telling you things and explaining everything the other great feature in this machine is this machine has um, has a um, uh, what's name attitude thing on the on the um, computer screen so it tells me how much um, angle I'm working on fore and aft and uh, left and right so if I'm working on slopes I can actually tell what uh, angle the machine is on which is really something um, that's very exciting to look at what the possibilities of that are so I'm very very happy happy to see all of those um, different incredible controls put into this can't wait to see what the next generation that comes into Australia which would already be out in the States is going to be like but you know their attention to detail and their support for the customer is why I went with Cat um, I'm very disappointed in this last lot with Kubota um, with the with the dealerships now there's really poor support when you have a breakdown like the um, water pump went on the excavator and they haven't got a clue what what water pump is on the excavator like that's just incredible with the serial numbers and everything else they actually have to come out and cite the water pump and they went away five days later still hadn't been contacted you know how can you have a machine down for five days while they gin around trying to find a water pump somewhere in the country you know I went and bought an aftermarket water pump because I wasn't going to wait more than five days, I can tell you. 
So I um, took care of it myself from that point on, you know, and just shop by removing the water pump, show the dealer the water pump, and they sold me an aftermarket water pump. That's not a Kubota dealer, that's an aftermarket mob. But you can't have machinery sitting around waiting for a dealer to make their mind up on, you know, what's what's on the machine. You just don't have the time for that. It's costing you way too much money in payments and everything else. So, yeah, so that's us. So we'll have lots of footage of the machine working. Um, we're going to bench out this stuff over my shoulder here near where the truck is there and increase the bank for privacy and for sound barrier um, and to give us some more flat room across here. So um, that's what we'll be doing and we'll be flattening a few trees that are dead trees up the up the paddock here that were too close to the track. The... Um, access track and the trees have since died so they've got to come down um, they're just dropping too many limbs and they're also in the way of being able to get access in those areas so so we'll be taking them down there's another couple around the property that we want down that are just dangerous to um, personnel and and uh, people walking around so that's some of the work that you're going to see this little baby doing and then we'll get out onto site and we'll do some uh, steep country work and show you what's possible in a machine at 30 degrees. Anyway, I'm Gary. Um, thanks for popping in. Lantana Removal Queensland, um, .com.au, 0449 986 880. And we're in Queensland, Australia, in Narangbar. And we service all over the southeast and uh, northern New South Wales from there. So... Keep in touch, and I hope you enjoyed the movie. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.